Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. Let's jump into a read for the month of December, all right? So let's uh, see what is happening for Taurus uh, for the month of December. I hope you all are doing well, all right? We've got a, uh, a new moon that's coming up. Uh, well, I should say a yeah, new moon in Sagittarius. Then we've got the full moon in uh, Gemini, I think on the 18th. Uh, Sagittarius full moon, I think is on the 4th of this month. So uh, uh, just get ready for, um, I don't want to say uh, it's kind of like a new chapter that's in your life kind of like the solar system is kind of aligning in that new moon to get ready for that new chapter in your life okay all right and uh, that new moon at, well that full moon in Gemini is all about uh, focusing on communication and, 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 and definitely focusing on communication forward expressing emotions uh, uh, eager to talk through things and that type of thing so you might find that uh, that might be coming into play within the month of December all right so Taurus let's take a look at what's going on for you here okay what's going on for you okay why do I get that uh, you were destined to create something together with someone I don't know what that means what that is uh, whatever this is it could be anything of this sort but you're destined to create something with someone uh, it's it's a huge part of this. So I don't know what this is, but let's take a look. All right, let's. I'm gonna pull five cards for you, and then we'll pull, pull some clarifiers as well. All right, so let's pull the five cards. What do we have for you here? So, oh, this is good. So we've got the sun card that came out on the first one here. Okay, um, and uh, I'm just gonna pull real quick to kind of see what wants to come out. What's at the bottom of the deck here? What do we have here? Well, let's just take a look. Okay, so. Seven of of swords. Someone's deceived. Some sort of deception. All right. Some sort of deception that you feel is kind of hanging around. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is coming through here. All right. Uh, it could be faith of not having. Uh, you know, it not you know experiencing deception. But uh, I kind of feel that that's kind of what's coming into play here. So the Seven of Swords talks about that. All right. So it could be that uh, perhaps there's someone around you. Because it's this, uh, someone that's looking back and hoping that they didn't see something, okay? So this is, um, hmm, something sneaky is happening behind the scenes, okay? Um, and uh, you can fix the, situ the situation. So I want you to know you can fix the situation. So if you're, if you're thinking that you can't, you can. It's a seven card. So again, it's about having faith. So know that you can fix this situation, whatever this is. Um, you can do it discreetly if you wish, but if you're the one, if you're the one that's acting unethically, this could say that uh, you might not get away with it any longer. Okay. Uh, so for your own sake, it's probably time to set things straight as soon as you can. All right. So that's what's coming into play. Don't, don't sneak around or anything of the sort. All right. Um, yeah, something is happening behind the scenes. Okay. Um, yeah, cause like a thief is kind of going behind the landscape and there's an army guys behind him. So, okay, we'll take a look at what this is. So let's take a look, but it doesn't, um, this is underlying energy. Um, because the funny thing is that I get the sun card that's coming out. Now it could be because you got the dawn side of this, which is means that you're kind of closing down for the day, uh, being thankful, uh, you know, for the calmness, uh, you know, uh, you know, as the dusk, as the sun sets and that type of thing. Um, so this could very much well be something of the sort. It's being, you know, very grateful, um, you know, for the situation, uh, you know, where you're at right now. But it's also, um, it's also an opportunity to kind of, uh, how do I want to say this? It's like, um, You've got an opportunity to, uh, you know, maybe it's kind of looking at a situation. How funny. It's kind of like I, I get, if you look at the other side of this, it's kind of the dusk before the dawn. So it's kind of like it's the calmness uh, before it gets bright. And it could be having to do with that underlying energy that we had coming out there too. So that could be the case as well. Okay. Um, keep it, just keep it moving forward on your day to day. Keep it moving forward. Um, we've got like the armies, they're kind of looking over the brick wall over here is what I feel here. And there's two people just kind of staying calm. They're kind of guarding this fortress of this tower here of this, uh, this, uh, yeah, but on this tower thing, there is a third eye that's up there. So there's a third eye. I don't know if you can see it, guys, but there's an eye keeping a keen eye on things. So keeping a key eye, this could have to do with that deception that we talked about, keeping a keen eye on any sort of deception and being, uh, you know, kind of thinking about it. Uh, but this is saying is that, um, 
Yeah, it's kind of like, um, yeah, this is about, um, it's about, you know, uh, getting the rest before you start moving on into the light is what I feel. Because the sun card is just this really beautiful energy. Keep it moving forward, Taurus. Really expand upon things. Expand upon your plans that you have, all right? Whatever that is. And um, and know that, that there are some times where we might have a bump in the road and you might have to create some sort of contingency plan. That's what this wants you to put into play. Develop a contingency plan. You know, plan B. Okay, you got plan A, have a plan B, okay? That's going to be key in terms of moving forward because it's going to help you push through these darker times and bring you through into the sunlight, okay? And be grateful for that. And remember that the, that every day is a new opportunity. The sun always comes up. The sun goes down, but it always comes up, all right? So it wants you to remember that. Anything else that we need to keep in mind? Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to pull one more card on this sun card. Beautiful energy, guys. Yeah, here we go. There you get the victory, the power, and the clarity. Uh, Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is being crowned with clarity, crowned with an opportunity of a new beginning, okay? Uh, and this is an opportunity to overcome and to really see through something, okay? Um, this is a no, this is about, uh, uh, this could be, guys, uh, an opportunity because the Ace of, of Swords talks about a new idea. There could be a new job as well that's coming through here. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Um, this is about achieving some sort of mental clarity and being crowned with it. So, you know, guys, that's what it is. You know, keep moving forward uh, and uh, know that every single day comes through and gives you new awareness. And this is what, it, what wants uh, to come through here. Uh, anything else in terms of where you're at? Yeah, you're not isolated about one way of thinking. This is, again, just don't be in isolation of looking at something as one way of, of doing. It re involves a change, right? A change is necessary to make uh, to take place. The Eight of Swords, okay? Um, and the Eights are all about change. And the Swords are talking about some sort of isolation or imprisonment in one way of thinking. It wants you to get rid of that, okay? Because that's an old way of thinking. And that is in the dusk. And that could be what you are thinking about when you see this. But do remember that the sun comes up and you can you you are now seeing the light and this is what it says i'm seeing the light i see a new situation the clouds are clearing okay and the sun is shining for that to happen so and that's what's going to give you the clarity that you need all right so this is a current situation now um now what it is uh that you need to focus in on i get the two of wands okay so the two of wands comes out um this is all about an opportunity for inspiration and creation kind of taking off from this right there's some sort of inspiration and creation you could be getting that at night okay so this could be something that's coming through that uh could say hey you know yeah there's a there's something that uh there's something that's coming through that's going to help you um but it's it's aries leo sagittarius energy okay um, and uh, it's about dedicating himself to his higher purpose. You know, that, uh, he's got this, uh, it's kind of like that sun, you know, from the sun card, he's got it in his hand. He's remembering his purpose, right? So whatever the case may be, and be very strong and passionate about moving towards that purpose. Okay. So that's what this talks about. Um, this is, uh, about drawing upon your higher self. Uh, and bringing spirit to the situation, not just the logistics of the planet of the earthly plane, but the, the astral plane, the spiritual realm. Okay, think more about why and not just what you need to do is what this card calls you to do. Okay, so ask yourself why, not what. So if you want a job, uh, you know, it's asking why do I want this job? You want a person? Why do I really want this person? You know. Uh, and, and, uh, so that's, what's coming into play, or you want to get rid of something like, like, why do I want to remove this obstacle? And then you have, it, it helps you become a lot more clear. Okay. So dedicate yourself to your highest purpose is what this wants you to do. Um, and in the past recent past, you got the nine of swords. Thank gosh that's in your past. Okay, good. Okay. It came to fruition. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the Nine of Swords is just all about, you know, coming to some sort of uh, 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 ending, right? Some sort of uh, anxiety, depression, or despair. Bye-bye with that, right? Getting rid of that and learning um, ways to overcome that, uh, you know, coping mechanisms for that as well, uh, and uh, really understanding the value of you, right? And uh, it's kind of coming into play here. 
So the Nine of Swords really talks about that. So, uh, you know, putting an end to something that just really wasn't good. It's like, uh, it's, it just, uh, you know, you could have been going through some sort of uh, anxiety, nightmare, some sort of depression, anything perhaps maybe to do with mental health. And this is saying it's really to think loving thoughts about yourself uh, or the person um, that you resent. Because what it's doing, Taurus, it's blocking your happiness. And we don't want that to happen. And that could be kind of what was blocking, you know, kind of blocking your happiness. And the universe is coming through here and the birds are just kind of reminding you, hey, there's a different way to look at something. Oh, I see the light. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you know, so um, don't be resentful about a situation is what this talks about because um, it wants you to know it's restricting your emotional happiness. And what we want for you is emotional happiness, okay? Um, you, know, you might want to check out Aqua's Read. There's an interesting, um, it's, they got they, it, very interesting. Uh, and on the top of your, your uh, read, we get the Four of, of Swords, all right? This is getting rest, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is, I feel that you might be taking on this energy of getting the rest that you need at this moment. Uh, and, uh, you know, kind of, uh, really recalibrating yourself, getting your energy at levels up, spending some time, uh, to get the rest that you need. Okay. Because this is about some sort of retreat, a retreat for renewal. Okay. So that's what I feel. And it's going to be in your strength position for the month of December. So please note that for yourself, get the rest that you need. Okay. Cause it's going to help you think clearly about, you know, especially within the month of how to move forward, okay? Uh, so make sure that you do that, okay? Recuperation is going to be key, and um, it's going to be key for your stability, okay? And so you can think better and through the process, I think, is what's going to be uh, very, very key, all right? So uh, anything else in terms of your strength that wants to come through for Taurus on here? What do we have? Anything that wants to come through for Taurus in terms of your strength? What do we get? Uh, Knight of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, okay? So uh, it could be someone that is coming towards you or someone that has perhaps has uh, maybe left, okay? Uh, you're going to know how that resonates with you, okay? The Knights are about motion, okay? And so when I get the Knight of Wands, this talks to me about, um, it's kind of like I get like a, um, uh, like a free-spirited person, uh, very much um, passionate in terms of travel, creativity, and he's going off into the night, right? So it could be someone that is approaching you at night or someone that may be approaching, uh, you know, moving away from you, okay? So that could be the case as well, all right? Um, so interesting, guys, interesting. So the Knights is, is kind of do is kind of going that route. I kind of feel that there is someone that moves into the night with their passion. Could be that you could get a call or a connection with someone who is the Knight of Wands. Um, but that's what I feel that's coming through here. Okay. And uh it's it's all about uh someone that moves forward. That they're, they're very transparent in their feelings. There's definitely true passion and love here, but they come in like lightning, right? And uh, they could leave, you know, the next morning, okay? So this is what I want you to keep in mind, okay? So, um, yeah, as it pertains to getting rest, pertaining to someone that's coming towards you, um, give me one more card on this. Yeah, something's hidden in the situation. Pisces energy, we get the moon card. So something is hidden here, okay? Um, yeah, there is something that's unseen. unseen. It could be voluntary, ch it's some sort of change, Maybe you're getting the rest that you need, um, uh, you know, as you, uh, if you're taking on this energy, it could be that you are walking away from passionate feelings about someone because something is hidden, right? Something's hidden from you. Uh, you know, kind of, uh, you they get the cancer uh, energy that's above there. Um, but this is about following your light and moving forward on what that is for you here. Yeah. The moon card is like unseen issues or, uh, you know, some sort of, um, changes uh that need to be made okay um kind of voluntary changes could be that you're walking away from that of which is hidden and just focusing on you here okay now in your near future what we got is the ace of wands so this is beautiful you know that lightning that we got in terms of your strength you know getting the rest that you need we get a brand new opportunity 
So something's coming forth, a new inspiration or creation that's blooms. Could be something's blooming, all right? An opportunity of some sort of inspiration or creation. It could be a new romance, a new job, a new inspiration that you have for a new project. It's blooming, the light and shifting. It could be someone that's coming towards you that actually gives you this idea, right? Because you get that same lightning and it's full of passion and, and it could be a new beginning with a person. It could be this person brings in new, a new idea for you. This person might want to co-create with you. We talked about that at the beginning, guys. It could be that, okay? So that's what's coming through here. The Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of fire energy, okay? Uh, so, yeah. And the Ace of Wands is 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 just about an opportunity to, uh, uh, that, that is, uh, it, it's beautiful. It's just, it's a lot of growth there, right? It's a lot of growth. Um, anything else that wants to come through in your near future for you, for Taurus? What do we have here for Taurus? Interesting, guys. Wow. What do we have? Devil energy could be doing with the Capricorn. Okay, this is interesting energy. Okay, because you got the back side of the devil. Okay, which is, it's a it's like a it's a fifteen car reduced into a six about some sort of growth. Okay, so um, yeah, it's about an opportunity. It's like the the back of the devil is almost about an opportunity to kind of see something and uh, to how do I want to say it's kind of like. Uh, uh, an opportunity to, uh, it's, it's kind of like with the devil under some, something that, that is, it could be a way of thinking. It could be like this, um, uh, you know, kind of getting rid of any sort of old way of being an old way of doing. Uh, it could be any sort of, uh, uh, you know, getting maybe perhaps some sort of, uh, indulgence, any sort of addiction of some sort, again, a person, place or thing. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, the funny thing is that you escaped this. You escaped something. I don't know if you escaped a person, place, or a situation that would have brought you into some sort of addiction or old way of being, maybe brought you back into resentment of some sort. Uh, you know, I, I kind of feel that like he's turned his back. His attention is not even looking towards you. It's elsewhere in the moment. So it's like it's your time to kind of, I can get out. I can get out of Dodge. So in your near future, whatever this is uh, that's coming through, this new inspiration, creation, whatever, you escaped some sort of old way of being, right? And um, the devil, you know, is the enemy of knowledge sometimes. Uh, ignorance is his closest ally. Ally, I should say, right? So, you know, and and so there, there's one sign of hope, right? Uh, and, and, and it's kind of like... It's kind of like there's a lotus flower that's on the bottom, right? It's like it signals new life. So there's new life that wants to come into play. Yeah, there's new life within this passion of, of something here, right? You can make your escape. You have a better chance of making your escape at something here, right? Hmm. Hmm. I'll pull one more card here. I think you escaped something and it was divine, all right? You're not going back to an old way of being. Oh, man, this is so cool. Okay, so this is the emperor energy. I got the emperor, okay? So this is beautiful. This is about, you know, developing a solid structure, uh, uh, Aries energy. You could be taking this on, but I feel this is signal of new life. New life is, and there's that sun again, kind of holding the light, right? Like you did at the very beginning, okay? And the sun is so important in this process. It's kind of like a, what you need to know. Here it is, here, and you're also here, right? So you're holding it again. Um, so I feel that in this read there, that it's about green. Now you can, your best way forward right now is a stronger foundation. Now you've got a stronger foundation. You've got new life. You're balancing uh um, a new way of being and a new foundation. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, you know, planning, strategic planning moving forward. This is, um, uh, yeah, I don't know if you've got some sort of, uh, surround you. That's a father figure, someone that could be a father figure of some sort. Uh, whatever's coming into play that brings you some sort of solidity, something solid. You've he's got the sun on his chest. I don't know if you see that, guys, but there's the sun on his chest, as you can see. So this is good. This is good. Very interesting, isn't it? Right? And new life. 
moving forward at the kind of the, the opening of the spiritual side that's that's helping you kind of go through that so i think that you're able to escape something and bring new life to something right uh, because you've escaped something okay what is it that you need to know most what do you need to know most wow that you are oh my gosh Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. So this is the Queen of Wands that you are drawing upon your uh, your uh, your energy in this beautiful energy, passionate sacral chakra energy. The Queen of Wands is all about being very vibrant. She you know is carries that sun. Her face is always towards the sun. Look at her. She's looking towards the sun, and uh, she's fulfilled and uh, revived through nature. So I feel that what you need to know is with this queen is that there is, uh, you, you've got everything, you've got the strength to move forward and she's super sexy and she's super beautiful and she is just all about vibrancy. Everyone wants to be around her because of her influence, all right? Uh, so I, I'm not surprised to see this in your read, especially for you, Taurus. Um, wow, what you need to know is that you've got the strength and the passion and the ability to really bring something to fruition, okay? Uh, make it happen, right? Even after something, uh, I get the seven of, of, even after the seven of wands, okay? And the seven is about having faith, but this is about, uh, especially, um, you know, uh, it wants you to persevere. So at night, it's the same as that, you know, looking into the sky, continuing to persevere, uh, recalibrate your domain and what it is that you want uh, and own it, right? And own it in the morning and take the steps to move forward, okay? So is this about having faith, the seven of, of wants, having faith, all right? You're kind of planning things out, uh, letting spirit work with you, kind of using that, that emperor energy as well, right? And then uh, still having that, that uh, wand in your hand, right? Here and then here. Could be that you might be dealing with someone too that um, uh, might uh, be, have a fight, be a fire sign. But what you need to know is that you have faith to continue to persevere. You're at higher ground, okay? So don't worry about the competition here, okay? Person, place, or thing, all right? Keep your eye on the prize, all right? Keep your eye on the prize. Focus in on what it is that you want, Taurus. Keep it going, okay? Don't give up is what this talks about. Create change and focus in, um, especially with this Eight of Pentacles, that talks about you maybe you're getting more education and more engagement. Some of you could be going to school or getting more education on the subject or being more engaged in the situation. Uh, what are your uh, hopes uh, in the situation? What do we get? That you don't, um, that you receive, get some sort of stability in the situation, okay? This is about contemplation, getting the contemplation that you need. It's like you've seen, your hope is that you don't have um, kind of gray days, right? Uh, especially as it pertains to your emotions. Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? And what else? Uh, yeah, you've got an option to create a change. Look into the moon. The moon is going to be so helpful for you. Uh, so make your intentions known uh, on the first half of the month on December 4th and even, you know, even, um, you know, five days even even after that. But really make the, put those new intentions in place. So then when you get to the end of the month on December 18th, uh, you know, Gemini is about, you know, twins, two choices, right? There's a choice. Uh, the, the full moon's in Gemini on the 18th and it can come to fruition. So, and make your decision. Uh, you, this is about making some sort of decision, uh, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is saying that you're going to be able to ha have communication forward in the energy to talk through something. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's the final full moon of the year as well. So it's coming into play. All right. And overall outcome for you in the month of December for you. What is this? What do we have for Taurus? What do we have? Oh, this is good. Queen of Pentacles. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. Like the animals love you. Uh, the material world is thanking you for all your hard work. And you are living in the luxury, sitting in your throne, being very, very beautiful, right? Um, you know, the queen is really an opportunity to that down-to-earth motherly energy. Wow. You put yourself in a position of just of absolute... Uh, uh, I mean, just a perfect position. And then I get the six. Now you really have to see the reading for Aquarius. All right. Just saying, okay, this is two people coming together. All right. This is about a connection coming together. Um, when I clarify this card, I get that you've got an opportunity to make a choice. All right. You're going to have a choice to make to come together 
person, place, or thing, okay? This could be a contract, this could be even, this is like, she signifies marriage. Uh, it could even be that. Um, but this is fire and earth and, and ground is coming together. And I feel like you're like that earth and the other person is that, uh, you know, crazy fire energy, whatever. But I get the lover's card, guys. Uh, uh, you're gonna have a choice that you can make, all right? Wow, very beautiful energy, okay? Something is made to come together. Remember I said at the very beginning, something is made to come together to create together, and we end with this, okay? All right, you guys, uh, this is what's coming through. Note your comments below. Smash that like button, guys. I so appreciate it. And, and definitely click the bell because that will let, lets you know that uh, my videos, that when they do come out, okay? Uh, I look forward to seeing you next time, and until then, namaste.